Okay, so we are on Aelin Varen on, on the bottom right hand side. We have a Harad Waste being played by Carliver. And on the upper left hand side, we happen to have Nada playing as Lost Orion. So I believe this is one of the good ones I was sent. Um, I have a few to look through. So I just want to see how this one lines up. Typically, this matchup is naturally in favor of Lost Orion. Uh, simply because Harad Waith is weak to archer-based factions, but depending how the person plays around with Harad Waith's roster, that's a different ballpark. Hey, Thren, doing how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. And I think Carliber will do Mahood Gathering. Yeah, he's going to do the Mahood Gathering. That makes perfect sense to me. And over here, Nada's gone for dry spells. The dry sp actually, not Nada. Oh, God. Carliber has gone for dry spells, so... Carlebur can prevent the research of a regular uh, Malorn tree upgrade from to the Nefredo Bloom Garrison Pasture Storehouse, whatever, and or just slow down the uh, purchase of a defensive mechanic even. So we're going to see how this goes, but whether or not... Okay, Nada is starting off here with a Garrison prod. That makes sense, and we do see Nada has gone for a four-farm start here on Aelin Varen. Uh, pretty common in his, I would say, routine um, so far with Age of the Ring. He's been doing a lot of four farm starts. Uh, while we're seeing a lot of people do the three farm into unit prod. But in addition, we have Carl Libra putting down a Hirondor outpost right over here. Hey, Conkwe, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Now, Nada has gone for the horn as his first spellbook pick, which leads to Sylvan allies or gifts of Lorien. And gifts is always going to be dependent on which hero you get and at what time. And so I'm hoping to see uh, some Sylvan ally use, I think. But we do see Nod has gone for the double garrison position here as Lothlorien. So this is pretty decent right now. He's going to have the unit prod to keep up the early game flow. Uh, but Carliber has Mahood on the field over on his end, which will uh, take the win against the Tower of Waith. Oh, 450 CP to 400 of her rod weights right now. And as you can see, Carliber putting an outpost to protect this um, further bazaar over here. From the tribes of okay, he's also making pikes right now to creep the warg there. Good. Now, it's interesting, but I think we might be seeing Nada consider a defensive Lorien at first here with the Tower Wave. Maybe, maybe not, but we do see Lorien Archers actually lined up here. And Oh, is he trying to play around the Lanterns? I think that's what he's doing. Okay, he's definitely trying to play around the Lanterns. I think that's exactly... Okay. And he, he drops Dry Spell, but I don't think it was actually within the radius he needed right here. Unless Nada bought the uh, Lantern ahead of time. So Carlebert backs away with the first Mahood. Nada continues to expand, but he's actually starting uh, defensively, as I kind of anticipated here with a Thorian. And if we take a look here, Carlebert's out to get that Warglare. He's got two Mahood Warriors queued up. 500 CP for Lauren going against 450 of her rod width. We do see Nada slowly, I think, trying to back away. But now he's waiting for... Yep, okay. He's upgrading the tree as someone's about to attack it. That's what we uh, would expect at this point. Nada will play Excelsior Strats. No, no, no. Don't tell me anything. I don't want to hear anything like that. I don't want to see that. Anyways, the Mahood Warriors are going to be cleaning up the Tower Wraith right over here. Two battalions of Lorien Archers on the other hand. Okay, yeah, it looks like, again, he's sticking with the defense of Lorien. He's not trying to harass. Slowly expanding outward. Pike and Archer. Now, I would... Okay, yeah. We see over here, Carlibur is going for the level 2 Harander outpost for the Harander Raiders. Uh, so, we're probably going to see Suladan, I'm thinking, eventually for the Structure Armor debuff. Which would be pretty poggers. Uh, but we do see the Lantern was just purchased here on this tree. And, and over here, we have two battalions of Lorien Archers sitting under the Horn buff. 
Okay, Carlibur is losing sort of a decent amount of units here uh, to this lantern exchange. Now we see this tree was just upgraded. Okay, Lothlorien's slowly moving around again. Carlibur taking his time to creep the southern war glare by his inn. Now, I would actually like to see um, some Mumakil in this matchup, but we're going to see if that even happens. It may not happen simply because of the archer hero uh, dynamic of Lothorin. Okay, nope. Okay, he has one battalion of pikes. So he's probably going to end up risking this. Builder was caught by the warg. Let's take a look at the economy. 200 in the bank here for Harad Wait against 550. Uh, for the Thorian. And it looks like Carlibur actu actually forgot to get the last gold chest. It's unlucky. Uh, but I think he's trying to capture the signal fire. Yeah, he's taking his time to capture that. Okay, 650 for the Thorian against 550. Hurrah, three points here. To three points here. First Hironda Raider Battalion has hit the field. So yeah, obviously we see right now that uh, Nada does not have enough pikes to protect uh, what is on the field necessarily. But he does have a few. Lantern is not back off a of cooldown, but it's almost there. So Carlibur needs to react fast and destroy this. And now you can see that Nada is moving away from this position and going back towards the center. Because uh, he has to contest the Mahood and Tribal Pike combo. But the Hironda Raider is about to come on the left hand side of Aelin Varen. Secondary Battalion of Hironda Raiders are soon backing up over here. And it looks like he sees the cavalry and he's definitely trying to keep uh, them over the archers right now. So in theory, we see that Carlibur does have the advantage uh, because Lothorian has to micro the moments where their pikes are covering the archers. They won't be using them for combat, so there's less units trying to trade here. But Carlibur actually diverting from the fight and putting his cal for the harass on the Malorn trees. Okay, right over here, more harass, excellent. Carlibur's about to get that tree. Let's just take a look at Carlibur's map control. He's got pretty good map control right now, 675 to 625 of the Florian. Seven points for Nada in the bank while Carlibur's at six. He's definitely gonna be using a fourth minute darkness, I would think, but we're gonna have to see how, how these Ronda Raiders do. Uh, they do get out. But again, honestly, Nada's giving up a lot of opportunity. Stick with the defensive Lorian here. Uh, yes, the faction can be defensive, but it's a defensive faction with an offensive capability. So it's all about how, but how you're using it. But we do see Rumil has hit the field for Lothorian now. So Carlibur has to be careful with his Hironda Raiders at this time so that the Archer Hero doesn't snipe him. Okay, let's see. Any different stuff? Nothing new, nothing new. So the unit prod's looking a little bit slow right now for Carlibur. Let's just take a look at his general CP. 222 is 675. We do see there was a green pasture made in the back here uh, for Nada. So that's pretty good. He's going to be forcing Carlibur to have more pikes. But Carlibur's already been making pikes in his general uh, unit positions. So this is not a different, I guess, sentiment at all. Uh, this tree is going to be gone. Uh, Rumo awkwardly actually walking around. So, ooh, okay, he's just trying to. Ooh, okay, he's got really lucky on that right there, getting half the battalion of each uh, Hironda Raider right about there. But ah, yes, okay. Carlibur going for Karan Lambar, excellent. So Car Carlibur sees that uh, the Florin is going for a rather clumpy kind of playbook, and once Karan Lambar gets Stonebreaker, it's going to be a different ballpark. So we'll see if he actually gets there. It's only level 3, so it's not like it's a huge uh, waiting period, you know? And we also see Hironder Spearman on the field already. But does Carlibur have a caravan? That's the next question I have. We do not see a caravan on the field here. Uh, but Lothorin does not want to feed Karan Lambar. And as you can see... Carlibur has gone for the mood headhunters to help pressure uh, Rumil and take down the pikes that are blocking the archers. And again, Nada 
kind of end up in a defensive position slightly here but this is how he's trying to play the faction we do he's gone we do see that he's gone for the fortress well um it's a very good tool very underrated with most factions that have a fortress well but they do this one for the lothlorian does provide a minus 25 percent hero revive time adjustment so that's one thing that uh players also don't really recognize yeah, he possibly did that, Thranduin, but at the end of the day, that is level 5, so I think he went for more of a stone breaker because he wants to break up that club position. And we see the arrow ball. He has gone off here. Fourth Man Darkness is available for a Carlibra if he went to go do it. But who cleaning up the tower with? Good, good. Oh, wait a second. Lots of archer fire on Karun Lumbar, so Carlibur does have to be careful. I mean, just pike and archer gameplay here from Lothorian at the moment. So let's see. More Mahood warriors. And this is a slow death right over here. Mahood headhunter is excellent. So yeah, Lothorian moving forward right now. Kern Lombard, now that he's around enough allied units, he's getting 5% uh, damage and movement speed up to a maximum of 25%. Yep, Fourth Mad Darkness kind of taking the moment here to clutter uh, the retreat for Lothorian in addition. Now they have to end up deciding whether or not they're going to push the retreat further or if they're going to try to save what's here because Carlibur did manage to cut them off quite well. Now, Rumo, I don't actually know. Oh, Rumo's right here. He's chilling. Okay, Rumo's definitely going down to Karen Lombard and Co. Very nice. So that was a perfect uh, block there by Carlibur, I would say. Yep. And now we see Karen Lombard at level 2. So he's getting closer to Stonebreaker. All uh, right, is the ninth on the retreat. Mahood Headhunters just going to shoot them as they exit. Let's take a look. No new tech here for Haradway. It's still no caravan, which is surprising to me. But he did have to remake a builder, it seems. Uh, we do happen to have Haldir on the field, though, for Nada. So this is something else entirely for Carlibur to watch out for. But he did kill Rumo, so the brother synergy is not here. But don't forget the Fortress Well is present for Lothorian, meaning the revived... Uh, time discount is an ap application here and we i think we just heard sylvan allies yeah sylvan allies was dropped in carlibra's base here but the mahood and the tribal pikes are going to be pressing back quite well so that was a good counter right there a little bit of a waste on nando's part to be popping that uh when there was wasn't really anything going on uh, but we do see again nada back on the defensive karan bar having execute rumo great value there for carlibra uh, level three, he does have Bricker Stone now, but he is still at half health. He's got to regen a bit. Two Haranda Raider Battalions going across the map. Tribal Pegs harassing that tree. Next units are probably going to this tree. Let's just take a look here. I feel like he's going to do a Bricker Stone any second now. Okay, he's backing away, I think. Yep, definitely backing away. Mm, okay, is a good. Okay, we have enough Archer Fire here. And I think Rumo's back. Yeah, Rumo's back already, thanks to the uh, Fortress Well. Okay. So Carlibur is kind of in a state where he has to scatter. Uh, we do see that Karan Lumbar has gone out, though. Unless he's going to get chased down. I mean, it's unfortunate he actually has no units with him, so there's a good possibility he might get chased down by the Archer Heroes. Uh, even on aggressive stance, they may catch up. So Carlibur needs to loop the units back to him to get the speed bonus back from the allied units. Yep, there we go. Okay, we see it. Okay, Car uh, Karan Lamar is safe. We get 12 points in the bank here for Haradwe. So leading into the tier 3, it's going to be Unrelenting Sun or Oasis. I think oh, I think he can do Oasis from the Fourth of My Darkness. I'm probably lying about that, to be honest. I can't remember right now. Uh, but we do see Suladan on the field here for Car uh, for Carlibur. Very nice. So once Suladan happens to get level 5, we're going to see the Structure Armor debuff with Haranda Raider Harass. Ooh, gnarly, gnarly, gnarly. No pikes, no pikes. Excellent. Excellent trample right there by Carlibur. Excellent. Now again, Nada just kind of chilling back at the base. 13 points for Harad. 
Okay, it looks like he might be trying to pivot in the spellbook, go for Waters and Nimmerdell. I'm assuming this is the game plan. We do see uh, Sulu down in level three, though, already. Very nice. Rogers of the Ninth, uh, two separate battalions trying to harass some bazaars. Okay, okay. Kren Lambar, half health. He's slowly regening. And Carlober trying to be very cautious with his harass unit here because uh, we do see uh, the archer hero dynamic of Lathor and Rumel and how they're. And, but now we see Orphans on the field. And we do notice that Nada has gone for Talon support. Alternatively, though, not the best positioning on the Talon. He's only probably hitting this tree and that tree. Man, this tree. But he could have hit more to be realistic here. Okay, we got Veteran's Oz Gilead here for Nada as well. The arrow volley dropped here. Not a guaranteed kill, but Kren Lambar is going to be level 4 soon. We do see a Lothlorian harass group on the northern side, and it's just Rumil, Haldir, Pike, and Archers. Okay. Hey, Gary, how you doing? Oh, I missed the Rumil. Rumil died. Okay. Yep, so Karan Lambar and Co. here happen to have executed Rumil. Very nice. Okay, let's take a look. Again, Karan Lombard does have Breaker of Stone, but we have yet to see it in effect. He might end up using here. The Hironda Raiders might run into the Pikes. This is not good. This is not good for Karlibur if they run into the Pikes. Riders of the Ninth, though, running into Karlibur's Pikes. Perfect stuff right there. Perfect. Okay, 11 points in the bank here for Lorien going against... 15. So, yeah, Karlibur has Tier 3. He's got Unrelenting Sun. Excellent. It's going to be uh, rather advantageous if he uses it in the right moments. Let's just take a look back at her odd weight space again. Uh, Carlibur now has gone for the Golden King. Excellent. So leadership nullification passively. Good summon. Good crowd control by him as well. We're going to see how this kind of pans out. Uh, but Carlibur in full retreat at this time. Level 5 is coming up for Karun Lumbar. Lots of archers. I want to know if we're going to see um, a nice calf sweep here. I don't think he lost his cavalry. Maybe he did. Oh, it's right over there. Okay. Excellent. So, free, free sweep. Ah, oh, yes. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice. So, down. Level 5 now. Structure armor debuff. So, he definitely used Unrelenting Sun uh, for that speed debuff so that the pikes could not reposition on top of the archers. Excellent decision there by Carlsberg. Ah, uh, okay. Now, Rumo is kind of... Oh, it's Haldir. Okay, nice. Maybe uh, Golden King is going to end up sniping Haldir rather well. Uh, but the speed debuff for Unrelenting Sun, for what people don't know... Is that it also impacts heroes, uh, debuffs their speed. Okay, Carla Burr on the chase here for the Riders of the Ninth Harass group. And we see he's gone for the Hirondor Swords as well from the inn. Again, though, Nada running back to the base on the defensive. God, okay, Rumil's back already, huh? That's a pretty uh pretty quick revive time there. Raiders, move out. Okay, he's capping this signal fire for the vision. Very nice. I will get to work immediately. Again, still no signal fire, uh not signal fire, no caravan still for Carliber. Uh this will put him at a disadvantage if he's not careful. But we do see that the Thorian has not grabbed anything just yet. But what we do note is that he's one point away from a tier 3 pickup. So I'm imagining he may be going for the Eagle um, for siege and or general engagement management here. So what is Carliber going to do? Again, we see Lothorin playing it very defensively right now. Just chilling. I am ah, okay, but they've gone for Kelleborn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay. So Kelleborn has popped out. Uh, Nada's got two talons set up. Okay. He may be trying to go for a third. So the question is, will Carliber be all right in managing uh, Lothorin's heroes at this point in the game? I would say yes single-handedly because uh we do have to kind of figure that out uh harad's best tools for hero management in reality are mahoot headhunters solo down uh black numenorian warriors oh god look at that yeah 
This would be huge right now if uh, he just did break or stone right here. Massive. Absolutely done. Cool, cool, cool. Taking care of the cavalry. Ah, uh, I guess. And we happen to see. Okay. Let's see. Is he trying to focus down the heroes? That's the question. Oh, yeah. He might be trying to go for the heroes. Yep. And we see. Okay, so he needs these Breaker Stone, to be honest, like right now. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, but he definitely has to take them off aggressive stance. Look at the damage that we see on Karen Lumbar. Ooh, Breaker Stone actually hits the Eagles when they uh, get that low. Interesting. If only Carlibur went for the mages first or the under. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. But, anyways, uh, we do see Celeborn here. Okay, I think, yeah, Karen Lumbar has taken out. Karun Lumbar has been taken out here, but we see a massive archer clump here by the Thorian. And right now, Suladan and Co. are coming in here. Zero pikes here for um, Nada. Zero pikes. It's going to be a rough trample. Very, very rough trample. Look at that. Okay. Oh, dude. I hope he. Oh, he used this incorrectly. Damn. Oh, it's disappointing. He used that incorrectly. Okay, anyways, Carla Burr getting a very clean trample here. Excellent, excellent stuff. But the Eagle is just really beating on the uh, Haradwaith heroes right now. Not a good look. And Golden King and Karan Lumbar go down to the Eagles. Let's take a look what's happening here. And I think that's Kella, that's Rumil. Okay, okay. Yep, Rumil's gone. Uh, but Carlebur needs to get Haldir. Okay, so Haldir is now the person to be chased down. Oh, but this is no oh, that's uh Carlebur's never mind. Yep, okay, Haldir's getting chased down. Okay, so Lothorin again has lost its heroes. Celeborn did die somewhere in that mess, it looks like. So I would say Carlebur had an excellent trade in that moment. But we do see a moment kill hit in the field now for Haradwe. Very nice. Okay, so how is he going to continue this? But thankfully, Suladan is on the field entirely right now. Oh, yeah, okay. We already see a Mumakil on the field. My bad. This is already on the field. It's actually not a cripple. It's just a uh, single target ability with a debuff element. But yes, look at the Mumakil. Very nice. Okay, uh, it doesn't take out the Talon immediately, but it took a lot of firepower. We do see the mirror on the field here for Nada, though. Okay, so he's researching the global Malone armor bonus. Not bad, not bad. Ah, uh, Celeborn seems to have either been revived or he was still alive and he was just hiding inside of Lothorin's base. Uh, but Carlibur is four points away from a tier four. So, Suladan, level 9, though. Are we going to see Onslaught value? Very nice. We have to, I want to see this badly. Uh, but Carlebur needs to use the charge mechanic for the Moba Kills the next time uh, Nada is up front here. He just needs to take down the Archer gameplay that we're seeing. Uh, only one Pike Battalion stacked against um, all these Archers as well. So, Carlebur could have a pretty clean sweep here as far as managing the Archer Clump. He definitely has to upgrade these um, movement kill, though. And is he going for upgrades? He is not going for upgrades, and Nanda does not have an upgrade. He does not have a storehouse on the field. Let's just take a look here. 12 points in the bank here for Lori, 900 CP, 2 Carlibers, 975, and 21 total points. Will he be going for Black Matriarch or is he going for Burning Sands? That's the question. That is the question. Lots of, uh, I'm surprised he's not just throwing the March Wardens in melee right now. That's really shocking to me. Oh, dude, he did it. He used Onslaught. We see the Onslaught value. Oh my god, that is so cool, man. You see Onslaught value, finally. Ah, oh, we have never seen this in so long. Oh, thank god. I wanted to see that so badly, man. I'm so happy about that. 
Does Carlo Bro have a caravan yet? Uh, I think he's not going with the caravan. No, I think he's just trying to wrap the game up with his own. Oh, okay. Well played to, uh, very well played to Carlo Bro there. Interesting game. Very interesting game. Saw some cool onslaught value by Suladan. You never see that. 